plow through it because we have a great movie to see tonight. It's called Dreamcatcher. It premiered last week at Sundance and it won the Best Director Award for the World Cinema. So you're in for the Dream and I was riveted, and I know you will be too. This is about a woman, one of the women who's here, Brenda. Say hi. Brenda's here. Brenda. She raises light and love, and director Kim Machinato, who you will in a couple of minutes, has captured a true leader who is changing the world one woman at a time. This is a movie that lies at the heart of the Athena Film Festival. So Brenda and her co-stars and friends and people who are part of Dreamcatcher will be on stage after the screening. And then, of course, Kitty mentioned we're going to go to a party. But um, I want to talk a little bit about our director, Kim Longinato. Kim, are you here? She's teaching in uh, England, so she couldn't be with us. Guys, oh, do we have Kim? Kim is a master. She's a documentary master. <laughs> documentary master. <laughs> Where she is. She stayed up. Hi, Kim. Kim, everybody say hi. Are you there? Hello. And I'm just introducing you are True Master, and you tell stories of people, mostly women, who are survivors of abuse and discrimination. At our first Athena Film Festival, we screened Pink Sorries, and we are so excited to have you introduce Dreamcatcher. Take it away, Kim. Hello. I, I'm so sorry I can't be there with you all because you seem such a nice audience. Thank the audience. Um, but I'm really pleased that you're going to be seeing the film tonight. And I'm really excited that Brenda is there and Sharita is there and also Stephanie. And actually the best thing about making this film was about meeting women like Brenda and like Sharita and Stephanie because it was a really uplifting experience. It was really um, inspiring to meet them. And I think I changed quite a lot when I was making the film. And all I can really hope is that you're going to meet them in the film. You're going to know them really well because of the film, but you're also going to meet them in person. And what I feel like is that I hope you feel like they could be your mother or they could be your sister or they could be your daughter or, you know, that you feel as close to them as I did when I was making the film. I hope the film will bring them close to you because they're truly remarkable and they have inspired me. And sometimes I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, I'm in a bit of a bad mood today. And I think, Brenda can do it, I can. You know, <laughs> that's the effect she's had on me because I think if she can do it, then every single one of us in, you know, in this room, well, I'm sort of virtually in the room, Every single one of us in the room can because because she can. It's that sort of feeling I got from her. I hope I hope you, I hope it affects you too. I don't mean I'm sure she'll affect you in different ways. Every single person there, the film will mean different things to you. But I hope you get some of the same things that I did. Anyway, I won't go on talking. And it's freezing in my house. The board is broken. <laughs> and that's why I put all these things on. Um, so I'm going to go and creep up into my room and, and go to sleep. So, uh, but I hope you really love, love watching the film and that you'll enjoy meeting Brenda afterwards. Good night. Good night.